everyone, welcome to the next video in the 5 minutes or less series. This is going to be on density relationships. So we're going to talk about the effect of temperature, pressure, and size on density. So I like to start off with this little example here. Describe what you could do to this picture to make it more dense besides adding more circles into it. Remember we said density is how packed the molecules are within an object. So in this case, how can you make this object more packed but not add more circles? So it's a little bit of a trick, but the answer is to shrink the box. So if you have the same five circles like this with a smaller box, now overall they're more packed. So we're going to talk about different relationships such as that in this video. So the first one we're going to talk about is temperature. The thing to know about temperature is that when you heat something, the molecules spread out. So if you have five packed molecules like that and you heat it, they're going to spread out. So you'd have this. So volume is how much space it takes up. So clearly if I put a box around this, it only takes up that much space, those five. But if I put a box around these five, look, now they take up way more space. So as temperature goes up, volume goes up more space. But density is how packed. So look, now if you heated it up, they were this packed and now they're less packed. So temperature goes up, density went down. So if we were to graph those, a temperature going up graph with volume is going to be like this. It went up, but the density went down because it's less packed. So they're opposite graphs more volume, less dense. Now, this is also going to cause warm air to rise because it's less dense than cold air. So this is how convection cells work, which we're going to eventually talk about in weather. Now, if we want to pressurize something, so on the left you can see a can with sort of a piston plate on the top, and there's one, two, three, four, six, nine, twelve molecules inside of it. Now look, these molecules have a lot of space, but when we crush it, right, now we're creating less volume, so pressure goes up, volume goes down, and now if you think density is how packed, so look, they had room on the left one, and now they're way more packed, so density went up in this case. So if we graph these, pressure goes up, the volume, the amount of space is going to drop, but the density is going to go up because they're more packed. Now the last one we're going to talk about is the amount of the object. This one's interesting because if I had, let's say, 10 grams of a mass of an object and that had a volume of 5 centimeters cubed, right, the density formula is mass over volume. So if I were to divide that, the density would be 2 grams per centimeters cubed for my object. Now if I were to cut that in half, I would have a mass of 5 grams and a volume of 2.5 centimeters cubed. And if you were to divide that out, you would see it's 2, again, grams per centimeters cubed. So this works halving it, doubling it, tripling it. It doesn't matter. The amount of the object does not matter for density. The density will always stay the same. So the relationship on a graph would look like this. It would be constant. All right, so now we could do a little summary. If you want, you can pause the video and try these yourself, and then I'm going to end up going over them. So as temperature increases, it gets really, really hot, so the molecules spread out. Remember, they were close, and you heat it up, and they spread out, so density is less packed, so it drops. As you pressurize something, you are squishing it, so everything's going to be more packed, so density is going to increase. As the amount of something increases, so you double it, triple it, quadruple it, it doesn't matter, the density stays the same. As you pressurize something, you're making it more packed, so it has less space. If I have this, and I, I squish it into a smaller area, right? Look, less space. Volume is amount of space. So it went down. So here is a box. If it was pressurized, it would be flatter. It would take up less space. All right, so that was density relationships in five minutes or less. Thank you for participating in the series, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.